something wrong? Please, mister. Buy a mask. I have to sell more masks so I can get more capsules. Capsules? There's a rare capsule toy with my name on it. That Feng Ling always gets stuff before me and brags about it to my face. Is that right? Feng Ling's dad gives him an allowance, so he can get as many capsules as he wants. All right. I'll help you out. What? There's no guarantee I'll get the one you want, but I'll give it a go. You will? It's a rare one from the car set series. The elusive wagon bus. The wagon bus. The only machine that has them is in front of the Hotel Nyawu. Okay then, I'll give it a try. Thanks so much, mister. By the way, will you buy a mask? Please buy a mask. They make great souvenirs. Mister. Yeah. You got it? But you know, I've got no change to spare. It's yours. You don't have to pay me for it. Serious? This is a rare one from the car set series. I know. I'll tell you a secret fishing spot. There's a spot that you can only get to if you turn just before Sonari Road. Okay. Thanks. No, no, thank you. Thanks so much, mister. Need a mask while you're here? What's wrong? It's too much. I've never been to Niawu before. Why is it so huge? Massive hills? Never-ending stairs? I'll never see it all in one day. Yeah, it's a big city. There's so much to see, but all I've done is shop. The elderly folks in my neighborhood had a shopping list a mile long. Oh boy. Let me help you with that list. Are you serious? It's really long. Would you mind writing it down? Sure. First is a blue fan from the souvenir shop. Make sure it's a pretty blue. Next up, the Niao Wu Walker, a travel guide with info about all the famous sites here. Let's see, some dumplings from the dim sum place. Those are for me. And some monk fruit from the fruit shop. Did you jot down all four of those things? Yeah. Good. Also, and this is important, be as cheap as possible. If you come back with an armful of junk, I'll only pay for the cheapest one of each. Right. So cheap is best for both of us. Got it? Yeah, got it. Excuse me. Hey, kiddo. How about a piping hot steamed bun? If you're looking for a souvenir from Hua Xiao Temple, this is it. Popular. Um, you got everything? The boat's almost here. I'm so glad you made it. We'd better add up what you've got. Oh, that was cheaper than I thought. You're a pretty good shopper. Thanks. Well, that wipes out the pocket money they gave me. Okay. 
but I can't leave you empty-handed. I bought this by accident, and it'd be a pain to return it. Here. It wasn't cheap, either. Thanks. I appreciate it. Hopefully I'll get to come back someday. Take care now. You too. Um... You again. Good timing. Will you do me a favor? Really? We had a skipper. A skipper? Someone who runs out without paying for their room. The employees are searching, but could you help too? Could you find him and get him to pay up? I'll help. Thanks. I had a feeling you would. If only all of our customers were more like you. Thanks. You're looking for a seedy guy named Bai Tung Jo. He stuffed himself with so much food and drink before running out. He won't get away with this. He's skinny and has white hair. Got it? Got it. He can't have gone far. Comb the area around here. Understood. Oh. Do you have a minute? What do you want? Are you Bai Tong Jo? I am. What's it to you? I'm helping out at Hotel Niawu. The hotel? You've got the wrong guy. There's no mistake. Come with me. No way! What? I'm a truly free man. I refuse to be held down by things like money or society. If you want me to go, you'll have to drag me there by force. my debt. Just let me go. Thank you. I'm totally broke. It's no problem, though. I can always just dine and dash again. Hey. Farewell. I guess I should go back to the hotel. Oh, you find Joe? Yes. And we made him cough up what he owed, too. I never doubted you. I never misjudge a man. Here's a token of thanks for your troubles. It's a limited edition t-shirt made by none other than myself. Thank you. I hope you'll help out if anything else comes up. Anyway, while you're here, want to buy a telephone card? If you're good... Five... Hey! I think I'm... What? Hey. Huh? Oh, it's you again. This is perfect. Give me a hand. I refuse. At least listen to me. There's a life on the line here. <sighs> Let's hear it. This is a real tearjerker. I met this old geezer. His grandkid is getting married, but the geezer is dying. He doesn't have much time left. He wants to make it to his grandkid's wedding. Ain't it sad? And then what happened? Ever hear of the almond mushroom? They call it the mushroom of life. Huh? It's a medicinal mushroom. If he had it, he could live longer. But it's crazy rare. It'd take forever for me to find it. 
And you want help finding it? You got it. Come on. Can't you help a pitiful old man? I suppose it wouldn't hurt. Now we're talking. I knew you were the one to ask. And? I found out that you can get them at pharmacies and Chinese medicine shops. Pharmacies and Chinese medicine shops? There's not much time. Let's split up. Okay. I'll take care of the area from the harbor up to Vendor Avenue. You get the area from Vendor Avenue to Blossom Road. That's fine. I'm counting on you, man. Excuse me. Welcome to Tough Guy Herbs. Do you have almond mushroom? Almond mushroom? We do. We only have one, though. It's 50 yuan. Will you be purchasing it? I'll take it. Thank you. Do you need anything else? We have a nice selection. And just so you know, don't worry. All right. I got the almond mushroom. I should bring it to Ren. Hey. Oh, did you find the all? Okay. You got it? <laughs> Leave it to this guy. Here, take this. What the heck is this? The client had it. I was looking for you. Huh? You got that thing I gave you? Was there a nasty vase inside? I don't know. I didn't think that piece of junk would actually be worth something. If only I could get it back. What are you muttering about? That's nothing. Uh, about the vase. You didn't sell it, did you? I threw it in the river. You what? Just kidding. Why are you so interested in that vase? I'm not interested at all. Nope, not at all. That's fishy. Uh, just remembered I have to be somewhere. Bye. That guy. Um... Hey there, young man! Are you interested in a fishing tournament? A tournament? All the anglers in Yawu participate in this fishing festival. The rules are simple. Catch the most fish, and you win. There's a grand prize for the winner, too. I see. What do you say? Will you join the tourney? Count me in. That's what I like to hear. The event starts at 12 noon and ends at 3 p.m. Catch as many fish as you can in three hours. Three hours, huh? Aren't you here to rent equipment? I'll take this one. Okay. A good choice, kiddo. You can fish anywhere with a fish symbol. Heck, looking for fishing spots is the best part! Of course.
I think I can fish here. <laughs> Wonderful! You were born to fish! Okay. Sure. This is quite the cat! I can't believe you caught all this in just a few hours! Young man, you are the winner! Allow me to present you with the grand prize! It's a commemorative original t-shirt! Thanks. I appreciate it. Young man, you really livened up the tournament. Thanks. I'm sorry. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, welcome. Could you do something for me? Huh? I got a date with the girl from the cafe next door. I see. I want to give her a present and ask her to be my girlfriend. But I don't know what she likes. What should I give her? Please, could you ask her what she likes? Will do. Really? This kind of thing has to be a surprise, so I can't ask her myself. Make sure you ask her casually. I'll do my best. Thank you. By the way, we got brand new models in. Want to have a look? Also got all the latest models. Sorry. Don't you want to take a break? Come on, have something sweet. <laughs> Excuse me. What? Oh, please excuse me. I'm just so happy. Did something good happen? Well, Mr. Joe from next door has asked me out on a date. Right. I wonder where we'll go. I wonder what he likes. I can barely contain my excitement. What kind of things do you like? Huh? Well, I like a lot of things. But I'd have to say I like flowers the best. Flowers? Yes! Flowers can make your day so much brighter just by being there. I see. Thank you. Huh? C come again? Finally! How'd it go? Yeah, she likes fl flower. Huh? Maybe I should open up a fl- If it's not- I- Will do. Thank you. By the way, we got- I've also...
Excuse me. Good day to you. Let me know your budget, and I'll make the perfect bouquet or wreath for you. Actually, I have a question. Whatever could that be? Is there a certain flower that's good to give to someone you like? Oh, do tell. Do you have someone in mind? Huh? Actually, I... <laughs> you don't have to say a word. I know a boy in love when I see one. For times like this, just any old flower won't do. What you need is a dreaming maiden. Dreaming maiden? It's a traditional flower given to court the one you love. But we don't sell them here. Huh? Dreaming maidens don't last long. They're prone to wilting. I don't know how to raise them. You have to give them soon after picking them. Where can I find them? They should be all around Miawu. They grow in places with a lot of moisture. If you're going to look, I'd say you should start along the river. Thanks. While you're at it, won't you buy some of my flowers? Let me know your budget, and I'll make the per- Oh, don't be embarrassed. Found it. Excuse me. Fine. Did you find... Yeah. Thank you. All right. Now I just have to tell her how I feel before the flowers wilt. Oh, but I should thank you first. It's nothing. Nonsense. Let me tell you something useful. I know where you can find a secret fishing spot. You know the warehouse of the port? There's a rocky reef right behind there. You can catch huge ones there. Give it a visit sometime. Thanks. The gratitude is mine. Thank you. By the way, we got brand new models in. Something wrong? Hey, mister. I'm just so bored. I have to sit here and watch the shop. I don't even get any toys. You want a toy? Not exactly, but... The other day, a little girl came to the shop with her daddy. Her daddy bought her a pink panda plushie. My daddy won't buy me anything. I'll look for one. What? I'll look for a pink panda for you. You will? I'm not sure I'll find it, though. I don't even know where they sell it. That little girl said it's not sold at a store. Okay. I'll go look for it. Thanks, mister. Oh, play smart ball before you go. What little girl? The one with the pink panda plushie. Yeah, this one. Uh, it's yours. Really? Yeah, really. Thanks so much. Here. Okay. If that girl comes by again, maybe we can play together? Sure thing. Oh, you should play smart ball before you go. Excuse me. You! You'll do just fine. Sorry, 
What? I've got a problem. Won't you hear me out? I see. Sales have been declining lately. Another greengrocer has become more popular than me. I only sell the finest vegetables. There's no way I can lose to some greengrocer. Right. I've got to sell something that will wow the customers. Have you heard of termite mushrooms? Sorry, what? White fungus, otherwise known as the king of mushrooms. They used to grow all over Niawu, but you barely see them anymore. If I had some of these high-grade elusive mushrooms, my business would go back to booming in no time. I've got to stay at the store, so I can't go hunt for it. What do you say? Will you find some termite mushrooms for me? Okay. I'll go and look for it. Thank you. You're such a blessing. If you find some, bring it to me. Just one is fine. I'll go and find them myself afterwards. So, where should I be looking for these mushrooms? They say these mushrooms grow near termite nests. That's why they're called termite mushrooms. I see. Thank you for taking the trouble. That's quite all right. I'll go check it out. Um... Oh! So, did you find any termite mushrooms? I did. Oh, thank you. Yes, this is definitely termite mushroom. Tell me where you found it later, okay? Let me thank you first. No, it's quite all right. Don't be shy. Just take it. It was made to promote the shop, so don't feel bad about taking it. Thanks. I appreciate it. You might as well buy some vegetables while you're... You're young, not invincible. Eating all that meat will catch up with you. Um... Sir, are you enjoying your stay in Yawu? I'm pretty sure. Oh my. From that reply, it doesn't seem like you're enjoying yourself. Since you came here, you should make the most of it. We're currently holding an event sponsored by the Niawu Tourism Association called the Niawu Troll. It's sure to brighten up your stay. Would you like to participate? Count me in. Thank you. What do I do? It's very easy. Just find the pennants hanging around Niawu. There are six in all. Collect all six to receive a wonderful gift. Got it. See the best of Miawu with your own eyes and enjoy all that it has to offer. There it is. I almost missed that one. Five left. I found it. I didn't notice it here. Four left. I found it. 
I didn't notice it here. Three left. I found it. I almost missed that one. Two left. I found it. I didn't notice it here. All right. Only one left. I found it. I didn't notice it here. This is all of them. Oh, that look can only mean... Have you found all of the pennants? Yes, I found them all. Fantastic! I tip my hat to you, fellow Niawu expert. Thanks. Now then, here is your prize. An original, limited edition t-shirt from the Tourism Board. This proves that you are Niawu Grand Master. Congratulations. Thank you. Now then, please enjoy Niawu. Um... Hey there, big guy. Welcome. Listen, man, you've gotta help us. I do? Business hasn't been so good lately. So we thought we'd create some special sushi to draw customers in. But we can't think of anything good. You're from Japan, though. You must have some good ideas. What? Yeah. If we can say a Japanese person thinks it's good, It'll really sell. Come on, man. You've got to help us. I know we're asking a lot. Please? Okay. Let's make some sushi. Oh my gosh, yay! Thank you. So, where do we start? Hmm. Would you mind getting some sushi-grade ingredients? I already tried all the fish, so something else. Could you bring three to start? Something novel and, if possible, representative of Niawu? You should probably check out restaurants and food shops. I mean, it's food. Searching aimlessly is nothing but a waste of time. Make sure you narrow down where to look. You think we can use fruits and veggies? We've already tried all the normal stuff. It has to be something unique. Strange fruits and vegetables. Niawu is a treasure trove of ingredients. I just know there's something new we can use for sushi. Happy hunting! Okay. You got a minute? Welcome to the Peking Duck House. There's something I... How about some Peking Duck? I promise it's delicious. I'm looking for an ingredient for sushi. If possible, it should be something that reminds you of Niawu. Look no further. Peking Duck is just what you described. 
When you mention Yao Wu, people will think of the Peking Duck House. That's because we're the best gourmet restaurant in town. The Peking Duck House, huh? Thank you. You got a minute? Hey there, handsome. How about some delicious monk fruit? It's great for your health. There's something I'd... Oh? Go ahead, ask me anything. I'm looking for an ingredient for sushi. If possible, it should be something that reminds you of Niawu. I thought you were going to ask me out something else. <laughs> Sorry? Never mind, just a passing thought. If you want something that screams Nyawu, it's got to be my monk fruit. It's great for your skin and health. Who wouldn't love it? Monk fruit, huh? Thank you. You got a minute? Good day to you. Looking for a present for your girlfriend? Or is it for your family? There's something I'd... Whatever could that be? I'm looking for an ingredient for sushi. If possible, it should be something that reminds you of Niawu. A sushi ingredient? Might I suggest sweet olives? Sorry? You do know Niawu is a part of Guilin City, right? Guilin means a forest of sweet olives. If you want something that reminds you of Niawu, you can't go wrong with sweet olives. I see. Besides that, sweet olives are a wonderful and versatile ingredient. You can marinate them in liquor or blend them into teas. Some even use it as a spice. I don't know if it'll be good in sushi, though. Sweet olives, huh? Thank you. Um... Oh, hey! We've been waiting for you. Have you found some novel new ingredients? Yeah, I found a bunch. I knew you'd come through. Nice! This'll help. Okay, what should we try first? Let's try the sweet olives. All right then, just a moment. What's this? Whoa, it's good. Didn't see that coming. This sushi is like none other I've tasted. It's delicately sweet and has an amazing aroma. Well, what do you think? Thank you, this is perfect. Don't you think so too, sis? This new sushi is sure to be a hit. Sure. I can't thank you enough. Think we can expand to Japan? You bet. <laughs> All right, then. I think it's time I... W wait a sec. Take this. It's just a small token of appreciation. That's not necessary. It's not much. Just take it, will ya? Okay. Thanks again for everything. Stop by anytime. Yeah. Hi. Mister. What's the matter? A bad boy took my stuffed animal. A bad boy? Yeah, his name's Deming. Way Deming. He's a bully. A bully? He's only nine, but he's really bad. He's the worst of all the kids in the promenade. I see. Please, mister. 
Don't worry. I'll get your animal back. Really? Yeah. What kind of animal is it? It's a yellow panda. A yellow panda? Dummy hangs out at the Vendor Avenue a lot. He's nine years old. I have to stay at the shop, so I can't go with you. Got it. I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, mister. While you're here, do you need a book? We have tons of books that are... Do you have a second? What do you want, mister? Are you dumbing? Yeah, that's me. You want something? You stole the girl from the bookstore stuffed animal, didn't you? Yeah, because she's always bragging about it. That's not very cool. Huh? It's lame to pick on girls. Give it back to her. <laughs> no way! What? I ain't got any stuffed animal. I hid it. You hid it? Yeah. If you want to give it back to her, you're gonna have to find it first. A yellow panda. This must be the one that was taken from the girl at the bookstore. I should give it to her. This one, right? Oh, it's my panda! Thank you, mister! Glad I could help. Here, take this! This is... It's a duck! I have two, so you can have one! Okay, thanks. See you around. Bye! Thank you, mister! While you're here, do you need a book? Don't see it. Sorry. Ah, there you are, lad. Would you mind being a hair model for me? Sorry? I just got this great idea for a new hairstyle. If I don't try it out soon, I'm gonna forget it. Won't you let me give you a haircut? No, I'd rather you not. You've gotta be joking me. Then, would you find me someone willing to be a hair model? Okay. I'll try to find one for you. Really? <laughs> You're a lifesaver. What kind of person are you looking for? It's a woman's hairstyle, so she has to be a woman. So, you wanted to give me a woman's haircut? Did I fail to mention that? I see. Short hair is no good. I need a woman with relatively long hair. And, could you make sure she's on the younger side? This is a design for younger women. You got it. New Paradise is popular with the young crowd. You should look there. Okay. I'll be back. Excuse me. You're that super strong guy from before. Huh? I meow. What do they call you, cutie? Hazuki. Ryo Hazuki. You won't mind if I call you Ryo then? Huh? Sure, I don't mind. Yay! Let's be best friends, okay, Ryo? <laughs> uh, okay. There's something I'd like to ask for. I'm looking for a hair model for the barber. Would you consider it? A hair model? 
What do you think? Sure, why not? I've been wanting to get a makeover anyway. I can't beat Elena the way I am now. Sorry? Oh, nothing. Just talking to myself. Splendid. A perfect model. I didn't know you liked me so much. I'm feeling mighty confident now. Then let me give you that haircut. Okay, it's done. Oh, fabulous! Oh, it's even better than I thought. Really? Does it look good? It's absolutely perfect! Oh, before I forget, let me thank you. That's not necessary. Just take it, will ya? It's my way of saying thank you. Thank you. It should be me thanking you. Now that I've got a new look, you'd better visit me more often. Okay then. Have a second? Hmm? What do you want? I have a question. A stolen scripture? Yeah. I want to get it back. What would you do with stolen goods? I wouldn't hang on to it. I'd pawn that right away. Where? Depends on what it is. Either a pawn shop or antique shop. I see. A pawn shop. Or an antique shop. Excuse me. What are you selling? Actually, I just have a question. I'm looking for a scripture that was stolen from Liu Zhao Shrine. Oh, that. One of those thugs sold it to me earlier. So, it was stolen. Could you return it? 200 yuan. Huh? I'll sell it to you for 200 yuan. But it's stolen. I don't care if it's stolen or not. I paid for it. I can't run this shop by giving things away for free. But... It's 200 yuan. Are you buying or not? I'll pay. Your business is appreciated. Is that all? You got something to sell? If you have a full set of items, no rush, but I don't have all day either. If you don't like it, just say so. All right. I got the scripture back. Now to bring it back to Liu Zhao Shrine.
Do you have a second? Oh! Hi, Ryo! Do you have the scripture? Yeah. This is it, right? That's it! Thank you so much! I don't know how to thank you enough! Don't worry about it. Why? Why would you do so much to help me? Huh? N never mind! Forget about it! Okay. Oh! I have to repay you! It's fine. It's a token of my gratitude. Please accept it. Okay. It's a souvenir phone card I designed for people who visit the temple. It's a little embarrassing. Thanks. Ryu, thank you so much. If there's anything I can do to help, just ask. I'll do whatever I can for you, Ryo. Thanks. I'll take you up on that. Of course! <laughs> kind of medicine you want. For a modest fee, of course. This is the Da Huang rootstock. This really means a lot to me. Did you find the herbs? I did. That's great! Thank you so much! I can probably even deliver the three yellows powder to the clinic in time. I see. I can make any kind of medicine you want. For a modest fee, of course. This is just a... Thanks. I appreciate it. While you're here, is there any medicine you need? We've got... I'll buy... I can make any Excuse me. I can tell you which number will bring you great fortune. My lucky number, eh? Precisely! For ten yuan. Want me to? You do, don't you? I'll do it. Very well. I shall now divine your lucky number. Ah, I see it! The number that will rain blessings upon you. Your lucky number is... Two! This number shall bring you great... What's this? This is... What an auspicious omen! The good fortune within you is remarkable! Huh? Want me to look deeper? Please do. Then, looking again... I see it! I see an outrageously fortuitous omen. That place is... Place? 
New Paradise. Good fortune awaits you at New Paradise. What might that be? Well, I don't know that. You should go to New Paradise. Then you'll find out. Okay. I'll check it out. Hey, you. Huh? My boss is asking. Answer him! It's you. You're the Japanese guy staying at Hotel Nyawu. That's right. I knew it! That's the guy, boss! Do you have some business with me? Some business? You punk. Strutting around flaunting your little girlfriend. What? I'm jealous. I mean, get off your high horse! What, are you on your honeymoon? <laughs> this punk. What are you talking about? Shut up! The boss hasn't even had a girlfriend! Honghua and Mao Jia both turned him down. Is that right? You jerk! I can't stand that smug look. Running around with such a cute girlfriend. Shenhua and I aren't. Did you hear that, boss? He said Shenhua and I! I won't allow it! Eat my fist! What's wrong with you? Boss! This guy's too tough! You jerk! It's not fair to pick a fight with me when you're this strong! Want to go again? No! Give me a break! I won't bother you anymore. Just have a good time in Yawu. Well, there's our train! We're out! Good fortune, huh? Um... How did it go? You met with a marvelous blessing, did you not? Didn't you? About that, instead of a blessing, I wound up meeting some thugs. Just as I thought. It didn't work out. Huh? Lately, I've been trying a new method of fortune telling. I tried it out because you came. I thought it went well, but I need to refine my technique. You mean I was your guinea pig? To put it one way, here's a thank you for playing along. Don't hold it against me. I found this in storage. Not sure why we had it, though. It's a carving of a dragon. Supposedly, it's really old. Please, take it. I'm sure it's worth something. Thanks. Now it's time for me to work on my new fortune-telling method. But before that... Since you're here, why don't I foretell your lucky number? <laughs> <laughs>